Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use managed identities in Azure Web App or Azure App Services. In this video we will see how to create managed identity for App Service and you can follow the same process to create managed identity for Azure Function applications and you can see how to use it across other resources. Managed identities for App Service and Azure Functions won't behave as expected if the app is migrated across subscriptions or tenant. The app needs to obtain a new identity which is done by disabling and re-enabling the feature. And the functionality of my identity from the Azure AD is that it will allow us to for the app to easily access other Azure AD protected resources such as Azure Key Vault. And the identity is managed by the Azure platform and does not require us as an admin to provision or rotate any secrets right so we can use system assigned identity we can use user assigned identity so the system assigned identity is tied to the application and is deleted if the app is deleted and one app can only have one system assigned identity and the user assigned identity is is a standalone azure resource that can be assigned to the app and uh, an app can have multiple user assigned identities. So if I go now let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and uh, this is my web app. So in here I look for uh, identity. Here it is under settings. If you see the system assigned, a system assigned managed identity is restricted to one per resource and is tied to the life cycle of this resource. You can grant permissions to the managed identity by using Azure role based access control. The managed identity is authenticated with Azure AD so you don't have to store any credentials in code. Right. This is my identity. I'll switch it to on. I'm using under system uh, assigned identity. I'll click on save. It says this web app will be registered with Azure Active Directory. Once it is registered, this web app can be granted permissions to access resources protected by Azure AD. Do you want to enable the system assigned managed identity for this? I'll say yes. The enable system identity is done. Now, Make a note of this point that if you want to find the managed identity for the app or slot in the app portal, you would have to go under the enterprise application, look in the user settings section. We will, uh, so if I want to show you this managed, so this is my app principle. If I just want to make a note of it, I can save that on the notepad. here like this and if you want to see this uh, managed identity on the Azure portal you will go under the Azure AD you would uh, Look for the enterprise application. Manage identities. This is my, the one that I've created, right? Go back here. Now, if you want to add a user assigned identity from the portal, you will click under user assigned. You will do the same thing, add, and then you will look, uh, look, you will search for a managed identity that you created, then then you will add it here, right? And then that will be added to your web app. And if you want to configure target resource, you may need to configure the target resource to allow the access from this application or function app. For example, if you 
request a token to access key vault then we also must add an access policy that includes the managed identity right so when you create a key vault there, there, there is an option to allow the access to access the secret certificates under the key vault in here you want to add a policy that will allow this managed identity to access to the key vault so that if my web app request a token to access the key vault then it should be the permission should exist for my app managed identity to access the key vault otherwise the calls to the key vault will be rejected even if you use a valid token so you need a token but you need an access policy on the key vault for it to access and same is true for my azure sql database so i hope this was uh, informative for all of you guys oh before i leave now if i'll just delete it my managed identity will also be deleted from my enterprise application so if i click here copy the name go to my resource group delete the resource group paste the name delete it this will delete the resource group let me pause the video and come back okay the resource group is deleted now if i go there refresh my managed identity is also gone all right this is what i wanted to show i hope you find this in from video informative if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day